And that is what annoys me. Because it was rumored that we were going to be getting an S8 Monster Arts Juvenile Rodan from Singular Points, and Gyrius from Singular Points, and even, like, Gabara from Singular Points. And guess what? They never even made those figures. No, they did not even made them. And I'm starting to think that that was just kind of a lie. I'm starting to think it was a lie. The highest toy Godzilla figures, they look way better. Not only that, they're even movie accurate and have way better prices than what SH Monster Arts has. SH Monster Arts has ridiculous prices. Some of their figures don't even come close to looking movie accurate. While others kind of look movie accurate, but they have loose rather loose body parts, or weird googly eyes, or just anything that's just wrong with them. And, folks, recently they made their Haya Toys Kong 2024, and it looks way better than the current SH Monster Arts Kong figure. Because, like, folks, it... The growing head looks more emotional, like it looks more like angry. Because when I look at the growing head of the SH Monster Arts Kong, it kind of looks like it's kind of angry. But the Hyatt Toys figure, it actually looks like it's angry. Like they flat out captured the emotion that Kong was feeling in certain scenes of Godzilla Kong the New Empire and they just flat out did it. They just made the, the, that ex, like very emotional face into a figure that and they even got the Kratos beard right where SH Monster didn't even come close to getting that beard right. Not only that, but SH Monsters was very late on this one, but they made an Atomic Blast version of Godzilla Minus One. Now, I know what you guys are wondering, why is that bad? It's not bad, it's just... They made the original figure so damn expensive, but it never came with any accessories. And yet, I bet you, they're going to make this figure very expensive because it comes with success rates that they failed to freaking ma to add for their original figure. And even recently, they freaking showed off the Haya Toys the GMK Godzilla figure. And it just looks amazing. It looks so good. It actually looks like how GMK Godzilla should look. Now, I'm not saying I hate the SH Monster of GMK Godzilla. I think it looks pretty damn good. But the Hyatt Toys figure is just... I don't even know how to describe it. It just looks so different. It looks like a, a completely different figure compared to the SH Monster Arts figure. And even now, recently, they announced their Godzilla 2000 figure. It, and that is the figure that I am very excited for the most. You all know that I'm a huge fan of Godzilla 2000, and I've always wanted a movie-accurate, super-articulated Godzilla 2000 figure. And lo and behold, Haya Toys done it. They succeed where SH Monster Arts fails. Some of their Godzilla... No, actually, all of their Godzilla figures look movie accurate, and they have way better prices than SH Monster Arts. At this point, SH Monster Arts is getting their ass kicked by Haya Toys. Because Haya Toys has way better figures than they do, and honestly, I don't even know how... How does this even happen?
How is it that Haya Toys is somehow doing better than SH Monster Arts? Since SH Monster Arts does make very good figures, figures, depending on how other people see those figures. Depending on how the way other people see those figures, it just like depends on them. If they agree that those figures, that certain figures look very good, while others look very bad, it just depends on them. But the others have rather loose body parts or googly eyes or just, yeah. But Haya Toys, it's like Haya Toys understands what people are saying and just succeeds where SH Monster Arts fails. And folks, like, I have to ask Super Burning God for help of tracking down a SH Monster Arts Rebirth Godzilla figure. And, like, it took him a while to even find one. He even, had to, he even had to ask another person that he knew for help in order to find one. Because, like, it was just ridiculous. And I even had to ask him for help of tracking down a less expensive... S.H. Monster evolved Godzilla, and it took him a while, but he found it. All the other places, including the bad toy store, were just way too expensive. And I think that people, like, at least deserve a chance to get a really good Godzilla figure without needing to spend, like, literally, like, 200 or even 300 freaking dollars just to get a single little super articulated Godzilla figure. And now I am starting to consider probably getting these figures. I might actually get one of these figures one day. And when I do, I will flat out talk about them a lot on this channel. Because at this point, I'm starting to lose my confidence within SH Monster Arts. Because SH Monster Arts is just failing. They're just failing. They're not even trying to make good figures anymore. They're just, at this point, rushing things. That's what I feel like they're doing. They're just rushing the detailing, the paint job, and not even noticing some problems with their figures and fixing those problems. Because I think there were some problems with Haya Toys Godzilla figures. Some of them had, like, rather bad, had rather a little bit of a bad paint job or a loose body, or there's just, there was just something about the figure that was wrong. Haya Toys flat out listened and fixed those problems. Like, they listened to the, since what people had to say, and, and they were just like, oh, so this is the problem? Okay, don't worry, we'll fix that right away. And boom, they just fixed it. They just fixed it. Just like that. And it's just... It's just crazy. It is just so crazy. And, folks, I even made an attempt to try to get the SH Monster Arts King Ghidorah 2018 figure. And you all know how that turned out. I ended up getting the Showa reboot King Ghidorah figure. And it wasn't the 
the King Ghidorah figure that I was after. It was just something entirely different. And maybe I I was just looking at the wrong figure. And I'm actually glad that Haya Toys now exists. Because now I might get their King Ghidorah figure. Maybe their King Ghidorah figure will impress me in ways that SH Monster Arts has failed. Because SH Monster Arts King Ghidorah figure had a lot of problems. It failed to flat out like do like the like the four legged pose like where you bent the wings down and make it look like he's walking on his wings. Like how in the movie. Hi Hi Toys flat out did that. They made it where King Ghidorah can now walk on his wings. It might be a challenge, but they did it. That's, and the heads are not too big, like the necks are not too big, everything about their King Ghidorah figure is just right. And it's just, how? How is this even possible? How is it that a company that has been making figures for years now, they're just failing at their job and making their figures look cool, and here's this other company that, ha like, High Force has been like a thing for ever since 2021, right? How is it that SH Monster, despite being a thing since, like, 2015, right? How is it that they, a company that lasted longer, and has been around longer, they're just failing, and this other company, who comes around, around and makes a better Godzilla figures than they do, how? How is it even possible? Just how? How, folks, how is this possible? How is it even possible? How do we get from SH Monster Arts from being a pretty damn good company who makes good Godzilla figures to now this? Hyatt Toys is literally kicking their ass. Like, folks, the more I think about it, I imagine it, imagine it like this. Hyatt Toys is like Kratos, and Sage Monster Arts is like Poseidon, and, like, Kratos is beats living in it, not Kratos, uh, freaking Hyatt Toys is beats the living hell out of Sage Monster Arts, like how Kratos beat up Poseidon in God of War 3. It's, like, ridiculous. How is that even possible? Hell, I would not be surprised if Hyatt Toys impresses Space Final Wars enough where he wants to get an, a Hyatt Toys Godzilla figure. Like, Space Final Wars, if you're watching this video, just go check out their prices, and you'll find out that their prices are actually not that bad. Their prices are far more better than SH Monster Arts' prices. But then again, Big Bad Toy Source is the website that I prefer to go after super articulated figures. I don't really consider of going to their own website of where the figures well are at. But anyways, that's the end of this video. So let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of Hyatt Toys? Do you guys like them or do you still prefer S H Monster Arts? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.